I think that you guys already know that I am a huge fan of trucker hats. In fact, I think I have eight as of right now, and that collection is just gonna continue to grow. It will. That being said, I thought it would be super fun to try to design my own trucker hat in Kittle. So let's get into it. As always, the first thing that I'm gonna do is open a new project. This project is four inches by six inches. I changed the background color to black so I could see what I'm doing. I grabbed a circle from my elements shapes panel and just stretched it out and then took the object color and just made it transparent and then used my border weight so I can create this outline effect with the transparency in the middle. Then I'm going to go to my photos panel and type in mountains. I liked this picture right here so I'm going to size this up. I did crop it some to roughly the area that I feel like I would be using so that I can get some of that other stuff out of the way. Then I'm going to use my image vectorizer to make this a threshold vector element and change that to the same color as my circle. I'm gonna move that out of the way and then go to my masks, center this up using my alignment tools, make this a little bit bigger and then put this on the left side and stretch it out so it's roughly the same size as my circle. It doesn't have to be exact since my element that is going in the mask is the same color as the circle. You won't really be able to see if it's the exact same size. If I double click into my mask, I can move my image. So I moved this down a little bit to have a little bit more space and then size that down in the middle of my artboard. Click T to add some text and I use this nice yellow tail kind of vintagey brush script font and I'm going to make that the same color as the rest of my elements. Then I typed in somewhere in the Midwest, Northwest. I think this is just fun and cool and kind of western prairie vibe mountains. I love the Northwest, Montana, Oregon, all of those places. If I could choose where I wanted to live, I would live there absolutely without a doubt. And then after some playing around with my arc text effect and my mask, this is what I ended up with. Then I just pasted in some text from another project using the Roboto font and I put life moves a lot slower in the American Northwest, which I have to say that that's probably true. And then I'm going to add this circle right here and put it on the left side. Same concept as before. I'm going to remove the color itself and make it a transparency and then use the border weight to make it an outline. Then I just typed in 94 just because that's like the year that Drew was born. I couldn't think of another a uh, year I guess I could have done mine but uh, I like to think of not myself sometimes uh, so I'm gonna go back into my elements panel and then I'm gonna look for a fun kind of looping star shape I really like this one right here so I'm gonna choose that same concept I'm gonna get rid of the fill color on this and make sure it's roughly the same size as my other circle place it on the right side get rid of that fill and then I'm gonna use my border weight right here try to make it kind of the same size as the other uh, element itself and then I'm going to add another text block with T use this yellow tail font and just put in W for Northwest make that the same color as the rest of my design and size this down and then try to get it somewhere roughly in the middle of this element down here that's coming together pretty nice and this is my finished hat design well there is your finished trucker hat design i hope you have a ton of fun with this here it is mocked up as of right now there are not some amazing solutions for dtf or direct to film printing for trucker hats i do know that there are some sellers on etsy that do this for a pretty fair price if you guys want to check that out if you guys comment if enough of you guys comment for print on demand suppliers to add more of these auto foam trucker hats as well as dtf print for them maybe we can get them to help us out a little bit if this tutorial was helpful give us a like and a comment and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any content and you can continue creating with us i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one peace